So this is our thrust bearing. So it's gone from our dripless seal to the thrust bearing. There's a lot of movement all through this. It's rattly. So we're gonna pull it apart now and um, see what we've got. Find part numbers, half the battle. Yeah, but if you, go, if you had to go pay someone to do that, what would they charge you? Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Heavy bit of kit. Okay, so I just pulled the whole thing out because it was easier for me not to play with the alignment of all this and I can sort of see where it's at. So this is our thrust bearing. So it's gone from our dripless seal to the thrust bearing to, it's like a universal joint, like a CV joint that's in forward of this that goes to the engine. Not all boats have them. It just means that this engine can be to a certain degree offset and it'll align itself. That's what we're working with. And I'm gonna see if the bearing, I had a suspicion because I had a whistling sound. There's a lot of play there, which tells me, yeah, that the bearing shot. So I know these are about $600 to replace, but I'm just gonna clean this up with a wire brush, um, repaint that, and really all it is is the bearing. So. If I can match up a bearing size, I'm not sure what type of bearing it is yet. I'm gonna pull it out and see. I'm sure if I call AquaDrive, it'll be seven times the price of a, a normal bearing. A bearing's a bearing. AquaDrive don't actually make their bearing. So let's pull it apart, see if we can find a code or a number on this bearing. It'd be like a wheel bearing, the size of it. So let's have a look at it and we'll go from there. I've just taken a few, a few measurements. I've measured the internal bit of the rubber here because I want to put it back together how I found it. So I've actually measured the end of the threads here so I know how tight to do it back up. I'm obviously filming this and showing you guys, but at the same time, this is actually a video reference for me. Like I said, if this was all new, I wouldn't even bother. When you pull something apart, generally you want to put it back exactly how you found it. I've put some marks on here, reference points, so the actual whole drive chain train goes back together. As I pulled it apart, it's just a little punch mark here and here and on opposite pieces so you just know exactly how you pulled it apart. So you can see here, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of movement all through this. It's rattly. So we're going to pull it apart now and um, see what we've got. I don't actually have the tool for this, but I'll just gently tap it. This has been uh, tapped before, so whoever's played with this before me has actually done the same as me. I'd actually like to get a new nut if I can and the proper tool to put this back together. So I can see that the chamfer here, the chamfer on this is set down. So I know that. I know this keyway. If I can get a new one of these I will. So this washer has got a little cut in it here. So you follow that and once you've got your nut done up you just fold these tabs up so i can potentially reuse that but again i'd like to get a new one i can see it's been either adjusted or reused in the past it shouldn't be wobbling like that i know that much that's a worn bearing but like i said i'll try and get a new seal the rear one they look all right i got to try and remove them without damaging them and then i can pull the bearing See if I can pull this apart and find a um, the part number. Well, I'll tell you what, if I put a mark on the back here, I'm gonna put two marks here and here, or here and here, and I know this is the back of the bearing. Know which way it goes. These are my two rubbers. Oh, that one's a bit worn. Let's see if I can get new rubbers. If I can't, it still should go back together, but yeah, it's definitely worn there on the top. Try and uh, remove this, and then I'll try and remove this. Oh, there's part numbers on here, guys. Yay. That's what we want. Nice. So I'll get some paper towel. And find part numbers. Half the battle. Okay, this one is definitely worn off, but this one isn't. Can you see all those numbers on there? Okay, can you slide it up, like bang it up? Yep, yep, go. Oh, there you go. 
Nice. That's a treat. Okay, there's one. I think that's the inside of that. I gotta get a new one of those if I can. These should be pretty standard parts. But it's it's there. I've pulled it apart. If I can't find a new one, we'll reuse it, but I'll try and get a new one. So that is what side was that, darling? That's the uh the worn side. That's the worn side. That one that has nothing on it has come out where there was a gap in the bearing. So the one which has got a number is tight. So I think that's the front anyway, towards the engine. Okay, so I've removed the retaining clip. Holds it all together. So we'll get that and we'll put that on our tray of goodies. Pretty heavy duty, I don't think we'll need to replace that. And what have we got in here? Looks like this. Get this a little help along. Okay, so this is the back of the bearing towards the aft and the front of the bearing. Both looks pretty much the same, so I don't think I can go too far wrong putting that back together. So it's SKF, I got that. Uh, I'll be able to, under some light, get all that. There you go. Yep, yep, give it some. It doesn't hit you in the face either when it comes. Yeah. How handy is that? Oh, I love it. Okay, so there's a spacing ring. It's really, so we just need one of those. This looks like a car bearing, really. All right. I get my hands cleaned. So there's our bearing. You can see she is got a lot of wobble in there and it's scratchy. And as I spin it, rusty solutions coming out. I actually feel that a problem could have been from our washing machine was actually leaking down on top of this. And I think over time it's gotten into the bearing. Anyway, that's that. This is the unit. Pretty sad looking, but uh, let's see what we can do with this. A little bit of uh, primer and paint and wire brush and a bit of uh, blood, sweat and tears. We might bring this back to life, I think. We'll whack a new bearing in there and we should have a new unit. Well, they look like brand new bits now. He's a clever captain. Just waiting on the bearing uh, we've ordered. We found one, yes! Found a bearing. It's on its way. Should be here in four to five days. Yep. We could have express shipped it, but it was $100, so <laughs> we thought we'd rather eat this week than <laughs> get the shipping here quick. Uh, yeah, anyway, he's done a great job of restoring these pieces. They look brand new. Yeah, but if you go, if you had to go pay someone to do that, what would they charge you? It's $600 for the part. And someone's labour to come out at, I don't know, people $150 an hour. So, I don't know, it could be nearly a thousand dollar job. He's done it himself. How much is the bearing cost? $90, guys, and you're back in action. We're not back in action yet, but we'll see. <laughs> so, instead of six, seven hundred dollars, it's going to cost a hundred dollars. This guy's labour and expertise, and we should be back in action. Labour of love, guys. Blood, sweat, and tears. All right, guys, we've been in uh, San Diego Bay for a week, I think. Um, haven't really filmed a lot of other than boat work, because that's all we've been doing, or uh, video editing. What the kids and I have been doing every day, and we feel really, really, really good about it, is uh, we've been jumping in the water. And it's freezing and cold, and it's not quite a nice bath, but it's kind of the same principle, and it's addictive, and you make it makes you feel amazing, and we're trying to convince Lee to come in with us, but he hasn't yet. We go in for like between, I don't know, around six to 10 minutes. The longest one we've done is about 10 minutes. Um, but you literally, your skin hurts, but you feel so good after it. And just being in the sun and being back in the water, it's just changed my mood. It's changed how I feel. I was in a really crappy place for a little while, especially when we were in Mexico. And um, yeah, I just, everything was, terrible and I didn't want to be there and 
you know, everything was just crap in my head and it was all in my head. We came back to California and um, it's cold, it's not warm, but the sun's out most of the days and yeah, with kids and I have been jumping in the water, so I just wanted to share because it feels really good and I feel really good. But we're trying to get Lee to come in. Come on, baby. Why won't you come in the water with us? Oh, uh, look, I'm happy to hop in the water, but you know, I haven't climatized from Indonesia yet. I'm used to <laughs> 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 something degrees. So the, a, the actual uh, temperature of the water, probably, but most people are like, oh, it's not even cold. But for us, it's really cold. This water temperature, I'm pretty sure is about 12, 13 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's cold. It's cold enough to when you jump in, like I don't want to jump in, but I know that afterwards I'm going to feel really good. The first initial minute is horrible and then your body goes numb and it's good. You're fine. And uh, by about six, seven, eight minutes, um, you're definitely ready to get out. It's cold. But here we go, we're gonna go jump in the water. The boat's not that big. I know we've got a bigger boat, but you can't ride your bike in here, mate. And I'm gonna go jump in the water and freeze, and I'm gonna try and bring this guy with me. I'm busy, darling. Look at oh, it, it looks brand new. Hey, okay. something like that. So all we're waiting on now is our bearing. The bearing was very, very worn and terrible condition. So we've ordered a new one and it's on its way. So that's what we've got to wait for to put this back together. Look at that, hey? We've got more problems in the engine as well. Just another bearing, but we are waiting until next month because our finances, that's not just what you have to do when you live on a budget. You gotta wait till when you got some money in the bank. Thing every month, we'll get into it. <laughs> it's gonna be a month of Sundays ahead of us, but yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> 